I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. How's it going, viewers? Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. This is the first Devin Weston uh, mission. After you've done the Blitz play and deliver the uh, bonds, Devin wants Michael's crew to steal cars. And this is the first car stealing mission. And it's called I Fought the Law. So let's get on with it. It's actually a lot of driving, so I will be doing a lot of fast forwarding. And it's somewhat fun. Mm. What's going on? You're going to dress up as traffic cops, and you're going to rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Franklin has to take this car that Devin Weston supplied, go to a gas station, and challenge the targets to a race. And to be honest with you, it really doesn't matter if you beat these guys. And once I get to them and get into the race, I'll explain it. But I'm going to just cut because it's a very long drive and I screwed up. So we're going to get right to where Franklin meets the targets. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does 2.7? Hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. <laughs> Now, you can try and get ahead of these guys, but to be honest with you, just keep up with them and you can use Franklin's driving power because these guys, if you get ahead of them, yeah, they are dirty when they drive and yeah, I just put myself behind really quickly. But that's what Dragon, <laughs> that's what Franklin's driving power is about. You can... Get up to these guys and surpass them if you want to, but just stick with them. And that is what happens if you try and get ahead of them. They use a pit maneuver and try and flip Franklin off the road. It's not a good thing, but like I said, you just got to keep up with them and let Michael and uh, Trevor take over. That was the second time. And really, I want these guys to get wiped out. But that doesn't happen. And eventually, you will get a call from, or you will call, Michael and Trevor, and let them know these guys are coming up on them. Hey, we're coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. 
got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. Yeah, this is going to be an extremely long chase. If you've played this game before, you know what eventually happens. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually fast forward to a certain event and then maybe cut to the final event. That wasn't too fun, but it's going to be another really extensive chase, and I'm trying to keep video times down, so I'm just going to cut to the next event. Finally, it looks like they're going down. It's about time. Okay. Whoa, hey, stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer, is this officer, entirely uh, necessary? yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Fucking Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint sized prick. You, you little shit. Get the fuck out of here. Go on. Hey, man, you know how hard. Yeah, you can switch to Franklin, Trevor, or Michael and drive to the garage. I choose to stay with Michael. And, well, he's in the lead. All you got to do is drive carefully and stay in the lead, not scratch the vehicles, which I am never really good at. But it should be interesting. So I'm going to fast right there. I just hit there. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm going to uh, just stay ahead of them. I think I passed one of the other guys. But, yeah. I'm just going to fast forward until they get to the garage. Yeah, this is about four minutes worth of driving that I compressed down to about 13 seconds. There is a lot of distance that had to be tra traversed. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the... Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good.
And there you have it. These guys now have become errand boys for Devin Weston. And they're not even done with the FIB yet. But those are more missions I will post. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. Because I do post four videos a week involving video games with some shorts and some surprises. You want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by. Thank you.